Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to li properly light this scene with uh, regular sun lighting with uh, physical sky. Uh, to create this kind of light I have uh, the, the object sun, it's an infinite light with uh, V-ray um, light tag um, applied to it uh, um, that uh, simulates the sun and the physical sc and, uh, and, the s and the sky and the physical sky to create it you want to go uh, to the ray bridge lights V-ray physical scan V-ray physical sun with sky this one this create this sun and this sun target I will show you in a moment this is the sun and this is my sun target if you move the target the sun will follow you, the, this, ta this target uh, the sun uh, create uh, very intense and uh, and sharp shadows and uh, I, for this scene I put it uh, about 45 degrees uh, related from my floor to create a situation of uh, midday okay my scene is very simple but is uh, proper to show you how to create uh, really good lighting for interior scene this is my scene, it's a simple room with two windows one here and one here this is the main windows and uh, for me it's the light is good uh, enough with only physical sky and sun and uh, for the other side I will uh, uh, increase my lighting power with an area light that create a little bit of contrast in my scene I also create a camera that's created with V-Ray Bridge camera, V-Ray physical camera show you here and place it on, on place as you can see I have uh, set it up my camera with a very strong uh, focal length about a telephoto uh, that produce uh, uh, very straight images with uh, no deformation like an 18 millimeters uh, or something else it's not a wide angle um, my camera is also placed, as you can see, behind the walls and uh, it's, uh, the, the trick to, to do this is going to details and enable near crippling. As you can see, if I disable it, I show I, I have only the wall. This uh, effect, i show you in a moment, um, give give me the the possibility to um, go through my wall to see through my wall with this near clipping value as you can see here if I increase the value I'm going to break up the wall and see through my scene okay as you can see now I see my scene and my composition is very good for, for me after doing this I wanted to uh, prepare my settings for my camera because the, um, the basic settings of lens parameters of my V-Ray physical camera are set it up to um, render with 
physical sun and sky in exterior scene that's uh, it's in, in interior scene it produces an uh, underexposure uh, effect first uh, thing to do is going to white balance preset and set it to neutral on default is set it on D65 it's uh, preset to uh, balancing the um, the white balance of uh, exterior scene so I set it up, set it up to, to neutral and I want to increase my shutter speed of about 50 so after doing this I wanted to test my render Okay, as you can see uh, in my progressive render uh, with the default settings of uh, V-Ray for C4D 3.7, it's uh, too dark now. That's because the, the power of uh, the V-Ray light on the side, these side lights, is not too heavy and uh, too have a proper lighting I wanted to stop the render and increase the power of this side light so I'm going to my V-Ray side light tag to the section of area light it's, everything is uh, set it up properly it's a default area light with uh, uh, invisible check it on that's because uh, uh, I want uh, the contribute to uh, of my sky and my sunlight pass through my windows. After doing this, I want to set it up to radiant power, uh, watt, and increase it to, to about uh, maybe 200. Let's try it. And now I want to show you how to see in my render. Okay, as you can see, my lighting is more good in this render compared with the previous one. I have more light enter on my side and also from my global illumination of all camera because the light bouncing on my walls and illuminate properly and smooth my scene I'm not happy at all because uh, some area are too dark again and uh, I have a problem of overexposure in these areas as you can see here so a little trick to um, compensate this problem is to go to my render settings here on the ray bridge uh, section and go to my color mapping and set it up from linear multiply to exponential that's compensate the uh, the tones from uh, the the dark and the the eye lights of uh, the image it's compressed and uh, uh, more smooth it's uh, it uh, has a good ally in uh, in interior render so Let's see what happens in my render.
okay as you can see with the compare with the previous one I see more clearly this area I have uh, some highlights here but I want it and uh, for me the result is good I don't have uh, this uh, burn it up uh, sides of my lamp and uh, of my windows the the result is more clearly and defined so I stop it the render because I want to increase a, a little bit um, the exposure of my rooms to have a, um, better results um, to test the light I usually uh, adopt this uh, this kind of uh, situation it's a normal situation for lighting uh, with uh, uh, apply to my all my um, object in scene a standard material it's a common uh, very advanced material for Cinema 4D that will be created here from uh, create V-Ray bridge V-Ray advanced material and uh, the only thing I wanna do is activate my specular layer and deactivate reflection I want only trace specular because uh, it gives me a little bit of contrast in my scene and uh, material materials are have reflection or specular every material have it or many material have it and I uh, want to uh, adopt this kind of standard material to uh, test my scene lighting for the windows that will be transparent I want to create a simple V-Ray advanced material that brings it to glass I show you in a moment for example create V-Ray bridge V-Ray advanced material deactivate my diffuse layer activate reflection layer and activate specular layer that's bring up a simple um, glass material that is for me is good only thing to do is one I usually start with my Fresnel IOR on reflection and reflection of about 1.4 in the description of this video I will uh, link my tutorial to create uh, a simple glass shader here on YouTube so that's all for my mat simple material of this scene save the scene for safety and I want to increase my exposure so I'm going to de disable my vignetting effect on my camera because I don't want it and increase my ISO to 200 maybe let's see what happens Okay, as you can see, the exposure is more good, but I think I have to increase a little bit my side and the exposure of my whole scene. So I stop it. Return, return to my camera settings and increase my file, film ISO to 400. After doing this, I'm going to my side light on the V-Ray tag and increase the radiant power to about 400 here. Now, I want to see my render. Okay, good. 
my exposure I think uh, for the interior is good I have only to reduce the effects of my sun on my um, very bright area because it's too burned here and uh, here so I'm gonna stop my render again and go to my sun tag on my sunlight I will um, this is the control of the sun and the physical sky and I want uh, to uh, reduce the intensity multiplier for physical camera these settings um, these set these settings uh, control uh, the sun and the and the sky intensity multiplier for physical can control the intensity of the sky the the sun sorry and horizon illumination for physical cam control the intensity of this the sky so for me the sky is good but I wanted to reduce a little bit the intensity multiplier for physical cam of the sun so I reduce it to 50% to reduce my overexposure area uh, after um, another cool uh, settings are this uh, probably the most important is size multiplier that's uh, um, influence the um, the sharpness of the, the shadows uh, value of uh, two or more uh, increase the blurriness of the shadow uh, multiplier of one it's a, um, a very bright and sharp shadow for me it's a good one in this uh, example but I feel free to modify this value to obtain your uh, artistic scene and try it on your scenes to doing this, I will show you the last test of my render. Okay, let's compare with the previous one. As you can see, my overexposure, overexposed area are more uh, defined, and I think for me is good. Okay, as you can see, at the at the end of my render, mm, the result is very good. My scene is uh, lit properly and I think it's uh, a good start for uh, shading and <laughs> final rendering of this scene. In the next lesson I will show you how to create uh, uh, an interior light without the sun but with an HDRI map. So stay, stay connected with me. Bye!